This morning we are heading to the art gallery for an up close look at artists in action, both longing to connect with onlookers one brush stroke at a time. Here with us now is Detroit artist Tim Yankee and Germany native Kevin Create Vigil. Tim and Create, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. What a pleasure. Thank Great you for to having be here. us. So we're going to get to what you're actually doing in your gallery right now. But first, tell us a little bit about this collecting event you have going on this weekend at Park West. Sure. It's one of our uh, annual uh, local right here, uh, Detroit VIP being held right here at the Townsend uh, through Park West Gallery. And it's more than an honor. I'm a mile away from uh, where the event is happening in my studio here in Birmingham. And I got the legendary super red hot create with me. And I try to take the advantage of having local artists here and, and doing a collaboration. We've never done a collaboration nope. before, so let's let's kill this. Excited. So this is something that I started earlier. I'm, yeah, I do a lot of Southwest and Native American art as well, along with abstract and patriotic pieces. So I started this earlier this morning. So we're gonna do a collab of a Native American or First Nations headdress. Uh, it's a war bonnet, it's a sacred adornment. So uh, we respectfully uh, wanna keep it uh, as accurate as possible. And you're gonna see him do his magic uh, there's a few bells and whistles that I'm going to do and go ahead and just create, you know, kind of cool different details, you know, but he'll he'll go in and we'll, we'll tighten this up a little bit later. Uh, but if you want to rock and roll with this right let's now, let's do it. So I'll help you out here. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see a, a demo. It's so impressive how you're able to create. It looks like it's almost coming off Otherwise, the canvas sorry, yep. there. I'm fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have at it, it, boss. For the colors make some colors marry together. And, and so Love create, as you're working, I'm gonna kind of ask you questions here. Both of you are abstract artists. Talk to me about where your inspiration comes from. Uh, well, I mean, my inspiration comes from energy. You know, so abstract really just shows our, our real genuine, you know, character. You know, it's something that, that's hard to follow, like a rule in abstract. That's the best thing about it, that we get to do what we want. That's my interpretation. Of it. Sure. I'm also and so impressed that you're able to do this and talk to me at the same time and you don't even seem stressed. This is like just easy for you. You're making it look oh, that yeah, way. Oh yeah, no, this is fun stuff. And so this is a question for both of you. Uh, on a piece like this, when you look down at whatever you're creating on, whether you know, in this case it's canvas, do you automatically know what you want that creation to be ahead of time or sometimes do you kind of leave it open-ended? I, th I think I work more spontaneous. Okay. I kind of like stuff to just make itself happen, those, those happy mistakes, like we like to say. That's exactly right. I mean, outside of any imagery or content that I may put in the image, if it's an abstract or if it's something that's just totally abstract, I have no preconceived idea of what colors or what direction I'm going to go in. It's almost like I'm going along for the dance. I go on autopilot, right? The colors yeah. just fly. And when you know you're done is when it just hits on all cylinders visually and, and you just... You sign it and you move on to the next one. So you got to rely on spontaneity. Spontaneity is probably our biggest tool. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Right? I agree. It's just something that it's, as you say, the things just build itself. A lot of people always ask me, do I know where I'm going to put the color? I really don't. I kind of just go with the flow. And you shouldn't, right? I mean, because otherwise it becomes man-made. It really becomes manufactured. Sure. If you really coordinate where the colors go, let it go. Look at the different blends that are happening here. I mean, you can't account for this. Yeah, you know, you yeah. gotta run. Sometimes gravity plays a role, or sometimes paint plays plays a role, or so you gotta you gotta collab and, with the paint itself. And, and Tim, we have less than a minute left as Create is is continuing to make this beautiful um, work there. Tell us a little bit about how people can get involved in this special event you have this weekend. Is there still an opportunity for people from the public to get involved in this? And how do they sure, do so? They, sure, it's Northwestern Highway uh, twenty nine four six nine Northwestern Highway. It's, you know, Yakov Agam, a famous artist, coined the phrase that it's the museum that sells, if you will. So, yeah, it's open to the public seven days a week, free admission for, an, uh, for a museum. And uh, pretty much everything that we do create and every, you know, from all the other uh, masters, uh, living masters, you've got Michael Goddard and all these incredible artists. You can go right, right here in Southfield in our backyard. We have uh, an incredible, incredible museum uh, slash gallery, and it's open to the public. This you can is, find anything we do there. This is so impressive. We've been speaking now on the air for less than four minutes and seeing <laughs> what Create has been able to do in that short amount of time. So impressive. Tim Yankee and Create, artists featured at Park West Gallery. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Be sure to check them out.